this product, I've been using it for a while now. Um, what it does is it shields your heat on your sheet metal while you're welding from uh, warping, right? It's a shield. I've already cut and spliced this quarter on the 64 Impala. Put it on, it's almost a little bit damp and it sticks. What I do is I take a putty knife and I clean it up on the edges. Flat edge, no warping. Again, just unbelievable, unbelievable. Alloy Sol. This is a 600 degree aluminum repair rod. Um, now, what makes this rod so unique is that there is absolutely zero pre cleaning required. Um, so, what that does, what it, it kind of opens up the possibility of not having to actually remove it from the car to fix it. That's the whole point. So, here's kind of our secret ingredient. This is called Alloy Sol Flux. So, this is what pre cleans the aluminum. Um, it also acts as a temperature guide. So that's another issue with aluminum. Aluminum has to be really clean, um, but we also can't really read the metal. So it doesn't start to glow before it melts. Uh, it just gets hot and, and disappears on you. So first thing I'm gonna do is heat up the end of the rod. We'll dip it in the flux. This is just to get some flux to stick to it. We want to coat the repair area. So you see we've got a hole up here in this line. We're literally just gonna cover that up with the flux. You don't wanna be able to see what you're working on. And then once we start to heat it up, it will start to turn into a liquid and then it'll go clear. And once we hit the clear, we lay the rod. So here we go. So heat up the end of my rod here. Let's get her nice and hot. Now I'm gonna dip it in the flux. Now I've got a flux covered rod. We're gonna go ahead and melt the flux over this repair area. I'm just gonna kind of roll the rod, make sure it gets nice and covered up there. There we go. Now I'm gonna keep my heat on it. And you'll see it'll start to kind of thin out this uh, the flux here a little bit. There it goes, it's starting to turn into that liquid. And now it's starting to turn clear. So I'm not sure if you guys saw this, but you can see that hole kind of reappearing here on the end. show you how to do a fix uh, from aluminum to copper okay we're going to be using the multi saw multi saw it's our red label and that's going to be joining the dissimilar metal so first thing i've done is i've cleaned up the copper and the aluminum really really well um, then the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to get a little bit of uh, the flux on both sides so i'm going to come in here and just squeeze a little flux in there you can also take the cap of the bottle off and use it to dip the rod in the bottle as well. So, really low temperature here. Turn my heat down, and we're going to start heating both sides of the metal and bring them both up to the same temperature. There it goes, bubbling real nice. Now I can test this by by dipping my rod. And then coming in to lay the material. And actually, it looks like it's ran all the way around. 